Thank you, Your Honor. Good, good morning. Mr. Copeland, do you know a person by the name of Shell Cal? I don't recall. Are you saying you don't recall if you know someone by the name of Shell Cal? Sustain. Do you recall speaking with law enforcement about an individual that you know by the name of Shell Cal? I don't recall. <clears throat> I want to go back to December of 2014 and into January of 2015. Were you present at a gambling house in Lakewood uh, when the shooting occurred? I don't recall. Let me ask you. <clears throat> also, back in 2015, do you remember being at a Cascade skating ring, speaking with an individual by the name of Shell Cow. I don't recall. Back in January of 2015, do you recall being at a um, club, Club Crucial, and getting into a fight with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall nothing. It happened years ago. All right. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to talk about a murder, to talk about whether or not you were involved in the murder of an individual by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr.? Say that again. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to speak about your potential involvement in the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I don't recall. All right. In January, on January 11, 2015, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department at about 3 o'clock in the morning? I don't recall. Okay. And did you speak with a detective by the name of Detective Thorpe? I don't recall who I speak with. I don't recall. Okay. And during that interview, did you go down there to speak with the murder, to speak with him about the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I don't recall who I spoke with. And in that same interview, did you speak with him about not just the murder of Donovan Thomas, but events that led up to the murder of Donovan Thomas on June 10th, 2015? I'm a liar. So uh, you want me to, to re remember something that I don't lied about in the past? Like, I, I, I don't know. So my question for you is, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department? Is your response you don't recall? I don't recall. Okay. And during that interview with Detective Thorpe at the Atlanta Police Department, did you provide him your name and your in date, date of birth? Huh? When you went to the Atlanta Police Department and met with Detective Thorpe, did you give him your date of birth? I don't know. Okay. And is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? What is your date of birth, July 25th, 1991? I think. Okay. And during this interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you also have a middle name of Xavier? I don't, okay. I don't know what I told I don't remember what I told him. Okay. I'm not trying to say the wrong thing so y'all can lock me back up. All right. Well, just bear with me. We're going to go through that interview, okay? Now, disregard the commentary by the witness. Now, during the interview, um, did you speak with Detective Thorpe about 
the issues you had with a person by the name of Kel? I don't recall. And did you speak with Detective Thorpe about a problem that the two of you all had in the club? Mm, I don't recall. Okay. And did you tell um, Detective Thorpe in that same interview that Kel was Nut's little brother? I don't know if they brothers or not. Okay. So do you know who Kel is? No, I don't recall. Okay. And when I say Nut, is that Donovan Thomas Jr.? Um, you asking me that? I am asking you that. Say that again? Sure. Do you know a person that goes by the name of Nut? I don't recall. Okay. Now, in that same interview... Do you, did you tell Detective Thorpe about you and Kel getting into the fight at Club Crucial? I don't recall. Nothing from 2015, oh. 14, 16, none of it. Okay. And during that same interview, did you um, tell Detective Thorpe that you and Kel had been in a beef for maybe about no longer than four months? And this was back in 2015. And he's still alive? My question is, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you, Michelle Kell, at that time in 2015, had a beef? And it was probably going on around four months at that time. I tell the detective whatever they want me to say, whatever they want to hear, whatever, whatever. So if I said it to him, I said it to him. I don't recall what I said to no police. Okay. And during that same interview... Did you tell Detective Thorpe that whenever y'all were in the club, y'all would initially just throw up birds at each other? Huh? In this January 11, 2000 interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that initially when you and Shel Kel were in the club, y'all never really fist fought, y'all just would throw up birds at each other? Like I told you, before y'all called me to trial, I have lied. I made things up. I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. And I'm telling you now, you asked me about 2015, I have got my life together. Y'all trying to put this on my conscience. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. And I understand that. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all pissing me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. Okay. I'm telling you I don't recall. I understand, but we're going to have to get through the questions. You can just continue saying you don't recall if that's what it is. That's what you want me to say? I want you to hey, answer the question. for just a minute. I don't think that you were instructing him how to testify. I hope not. No, I don't instruct not. him how to testify other than truthfully. Oh, thank you. And Any other objection? Or was that covered? All right, go ahead. If you can answer the questions truthfully, and we can move forward. Can we do that? I don't recall. All right. Now, going back to 2015, did you tell this did you tell Detective Thorpe first about a meeting that you had with Shell Kell at the Cascade Skating Lane? I don't recall. Okay. Have you ever been to the Cascade Skating Lane? I don't recall. All right. Is the Cascade Skating Ring in Atlanta? I don't recall. Okay. Did you tell Detective Thorpe that while at the Cascade Skating Ring that you met and that you talked to Shell Kell about all the beef that you had with each other. I want to talk about be doing with my gun. Okay. Back in 2015, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you had a gun at the Cascade Skating Ring? 
I would never tell the police nothing I did. Okay. Now, back in 2015, did you meet with Atlanta Police Department detectives on at least five occasions after the murder of Nutt? I met with them a lot of times. Okay. And during each of those times, did you talk to them about what was happening between YSL and FK? Nah, I was telling them whatever I think that I get them out for me. Okay. Did you go and talk to the police after your car was shot up um, on the highway? It's called finessing. Okay. But did your car get shot up while you were on the highway? I don't recall. Okay. Did you, your child or your child's mother get shot at while you were leaving your home? They got shot at. Okay. Were you with them? Not my kids and my, and my, and my child, mom. Were you coming out of the house with you, your child, and your child's mother? Did that occur? I don't recall. Okay. Did your girlfriend's father's home get shot up after Donovan Thomas got murdered? I don't recall. Okay. All right. So going back to January 11th interview with Detective Thorpe, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you and Kel talked about the beef that the two of you had with each other? I don't recall. Okay. And during that, when you and Kel spoke, Kel asked you to call Thug on the telephone. It's a fact on the listener, I know. It's a word, I'm sorry. Effect on the listener, Your Honor, not whether or not he called, but what he did in response to being asked that. All right, I rule. So, did you tell Detective Thorpe that when you met with Kel at the Cascade Skating Ring, he asked you to call Thug? Okay, so this is what happened. Okay. The police kept locking me up for whatever they could. Every time I count, though, the police was on me, and they keep bringing up Thug's name. So what I did was, to get them off of me, I said, Thug did this, Thug did that, Thug did, because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy for me to try to throw the blame off on him to get them off of me, and that's what I was doing from all these years. I don't remember what I don't told them in the past, but my whole motive was Thug did it because... I knew he didn't do it, and they couldn't lock him up. And they keep talking about it, thug, 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 thug. So guess what I'm going to tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what else you want me to tell them? Yeah, he killed this person. Yeah, he did that. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. And that's right now. If you tell, if I walk out this thing and, and, and they say, the police stop me now. Hey, man, give me something about thug. Shit, I'm about to make something up about him again. On January 11, 2015, when you went to speak to the police, when they called you, did they ask you about Thug or did they ask you about the murder of Donovan Thomas? I don't know. I don't, re I don't remember. Did you go down to the police department on your own to tell them that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? Uh, did I go on my own? Did you walk into the police department by yourself to tell them on the morning of January 11, 2015, that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? I don't recall. Okay, so you don't recall going to the police or you don't recall why? I don't recall none of that. Right. I just know that every time the police was after me trying to get me, they kept bringing his name up. And I knew that he had me what I had, so I was like, yeah, 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 whatever y'all want me to say, I was it. That's what I told Gaither and Dennis, and that's why they kept coming after me because they felt like, okay, they can make a case out to him or whatever they trying to do. So they knew that, okay, we're going to get Woody today. He's going to have something to say about the, and it's wrong. And y'all are wrong because y'all know that I'm full of shit. And y'all keep trying to drag me in here to bring up bullshit that y'all know I don't say it. Why is y'all doing it? Leave me alone. Was if y'all going to charge me for what I did, I don't did the time for the crimes y'all caught me for. Okay. Would you mind your language while we're sitting here in court? I'm trying to. You got me. I'm, I'm on. Y'all need to give me a break because my blood pressure is real high. I keep telling y'all, leave me alone. Okay. And the quicker we get through this, the quicker we can leave you alone. Do you understand Okay, that? I don't recall. Okay. Going back to January 11th, 2015. I don't recall. You, can I finish the question? Aiden, listen to the question first. 
when you went to the Atlanta Police Department, Detective Thorpe didn't ask you about Thug. You brought up Thug. Do you recall that? I did. You did. Okay. So let's continue. During your meeting with Detective Thorpe, when you went down to the police department, did you tell him about the beef that you were having with Kel, with Shell Kel? Am I here to tell the truth or to remember my lies? I want you to tell the truth. But you keep going to my lies, though. That's what you... Back in 2015, did you tell Detective Thor that this was a lie? I would have told the police whatever. Listen, when they get me, I'm, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try to tell them whatever I can to finesse my way out of whatever situation that I'm in. Okay. And it's only now in 2024 that you're saying that everything you said in 2015 is a lie. Is that correct? Because I went to the feds. Y'all didn't let me out of jail until, what, four, four years later? So if I was telling the truth then, why it took y'all so many years to, to try to say, okay, he was being honest or whatever the case is? Okay. If I was telling the truth, y'all would have made any case back then. Y'all knew I was lying. Y'all put me in jail. I go do my time. I get out of jail, try to get my life together. Y'all trying to drag me back into the lies that I don't made. Y'all, what is, what's up? Can I ask you this? In 2021, when you interviewed with investigator Viverito after you got out of prison, did you tell her that everything you said back in 2015 was the truth, but we, but we as a state didn't believe you back then? So, so my thing is, right, uh -huh. I went to jail. So the lies that I was telling, they didn't go for it. Y'all didn't go for it. Whoever didn't go for it. So I went to jail, did my time for it, right? And then y'all got me again. So guess what they say? Well, we're we going to bring up the name again. And guess what I'm going to do? Try to finish my way out of it again because y'all ain't touching for the lies I done told in on, on them in the past. So guess what? It ain't nothing to put the blame on Thug for what I did. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to blame him for and let me I, I don't recall. Okay. Now let me ask you this. You keep talking about Thug, but did were you asked about other individuals as well? During all these interviews, were you asked about Shannon? And I'm I'm gonna put the blame on him. Okay, were you asked about Demikion Garlington? I'm gonna put the blame on him. Were you asked about Quindaria Zachary? I'm gonna put the blame on everybody but myself. Okay. And during this time, did all the police, every time you spoke to someone, did they tell you that they are gonna have to verify what you said? And did they? <laughs> My I question. Did have one answer the question that she asked you? Did they tell you that we had to verify everything that you said? I don't recall. Okay. And when they told you they had to verify what you said, you continued to talk to the police? Because with the knowledge that I have, it's nothing to treat the police. But if they had to verify what you said, they had to make sure that what you said was true, how could you trick the police? Easy. Overruled. How could you trick the police? Easy. How? I can't tell you that. Okay. Were you aware that the things that you talked about were verified? Sustained. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Y'all all step back to uh, the jury room for me. Thank you. All right,